coming into this world of online business and audiences and all of that, what are some of those things that you're really trying to teach them? Those two or three really pivotal things. When you understand this, you will see the world differently. I mean, if somebody's at zero, the first thing I would say is like, start doing. You will learn much better in the context of doing, which is not a thing I used to appreciate. I actually wasted a lot of time trying to learn before I did. You had a tweet at one point. If you were like, find yourself reading something for the third time or like learning about something for the third time, it's time to start doing instead. It feels good to learn and like feel like you're getting closer to knowing how to do it. Learning how to do something is a cheap way to get a fraction of the dopamine of actually doing it, but it doesn't really get you that much closer to doing it, especially if you're on your second or third rep through. Start that newsletter. Send an email to five people. Throw up a Google form. It's easy to get started. And when you encounter a roadblock, go learn how to remove or overcome that roadblock. Don't try to anticipate too many steps out. Just get working. Even if you do end up down a dead end, that proof of work and effort will help you contextualize when you hear the right answer. When you go find a friend or mentor or teacher and say like, hey, look, I tried this thing. It didn't work and I don't know why. That happened to me this morning. I was working on this side project and I'm in a dead end and I don't know what to do. I called a friend. He's like, here's what I would have told you if you talked to me two weeks ago. And I was part of me was like, shit, that was an expensive mistake time-wise. But it's also like an acute lesson learned. So I'm going to remember that one much more.